Okay, everyone, so here I am. I've basically redone my channel. Um, reason being is that I, I, I just want to do something different. I want to do more car stuff because that's what I, you know, enjoy the most in life, I guess. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to stop games altogether, but I'm probably going to upload a lot more uh, car stuff, like real life car stuff and video game car stuff. Um, but as of right now, I, this is just what I'm doing, pretty much. Um, car Mechanic Sim 2018. It's a pretty legit game so far. Uh, lots of stuff to do, that's for sure. It's a lot more intensive than the uh, 2015 version, which, um, one thing is, uh, one thing I've basically expected is for someone to be like, hey, where's the 2015 video? I said you would start a series, and then a year went by. You only had one video up. Well, that's because I kind of stopped. It's like, I, I just couldn't really keep up with it because there were so many other things going on at the time. Plus, um, ha, just, just, just stuff, basically. Stuff was going on, and I, I didn't. I, I don't edit things very well, so it was a combination of things happening and lack of, uh, edit, whatever, okay. Point is, here I am playing this game now, so, uh, I've, I've gotten some decent progress in it, so I don't think I'm gonna make this like a series series, I'll probably just upload occasional gameplay videos, uh, but, yeah. So here we go. So first project is gonna be, well, I have tons of projects actually. I'm still working on this one right here. Um, good old Corvette. Everyone loves Corvettes, right? So basically, what I did to this one so far is I've essentially rebuilt everything on it. Well, for the most part, not everything, because it was in pretty good condition when I bought it. Um, but there were tons of. Uh, body parts missing and things rusted and things broken and just, you know. Why did my, my graphic settings changed? I don't remember changing it to lower than, what? Okay, well, whatever. New interior right now. New, new everything, basically. This whole thing is, it looks really straight. And as it is right now with the engine out, it's uh, 52 grand, worth 52. But I have the engine over here, um, because basically I went to start it, and this was my mistake, because I, I, I had done some top-end work on the motor, and my mistake was not really verifying whether or not it ran to begin with, but there were so many missing pieces to it, I just kind of put it all together just to see how it would work. And basically there were piston rings that were missing. And when I went to start it, and everything was buttoned up, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll have some fun time here and I can sell it and uh, why is it lagging like this? I don't understand why there's so much stuttering going on. This, this doesn't happen. Oh, it's too bad. Ah, stop it! My computer runs much better than this. I don't know. It's probably just because I'm recording. I'm trying OBS Studio for recording right now, but I, I don't... I don't know. Okay, so... Basically, I have to finish uh, working on the motor as it is. Um, I believe I put a new steering pump and definitely new oil filter. I think I put a new alternator on there too. I, I put a bunch of new stuff and I had new oil in it and everything was good to go. But um, then there were no. Uh, oh? I really hate that shuffling noise, to be honest with you. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix something really quickly. Cause I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so basically I seem to be having an issue where my game is being obscenely retarded in which not only does the full screen not entirely work, because the uh my freaking taskbar on the left side of my screen is still very much there, but it was also changing my graphical settings, like on its own. And the audio was way too high. Of course, that was my fault. I thought it was low enough, but it wasn't. And I gotta hear this shuffling noise every single time I slightly move. But whatever, I'll deal with it. Gotta get these pistons out because, you know... I mean, they look pretty bad as it is, not gonna lie. I, 
I should have taken the top end off. But they were... I didn't really feel like digging too deep. And I, I did compression checks. And the compression checks said that the motor was fine. So it kind of confused me there. How can, how can a compression test be okay, but then you don't have piston rings? No, damn it. Okay. It's gonna be like that. All right. See, these two look good. But I'm... You know what? I actually have to take them out anyway, because I don't know which piston is missing the piston rings. Because again, compression test said it was fine. Then I find out that it's not fine. So... But the block is in good condition. So that's why I didn't mess with that. I didn't mess with the crank. I didn't mess with any of that mess. Didn't mess with the mess. I guess we can repair the rod cap, because honestly, why not? I don't want to do too much because I'm, I don't feel good about my um, repair skills in terms of this game. Like I don't want to accidentally break stuff and then have to pay for a really expensive part. Throttle. 100%. Well then, why should I... Alright, that's as best as I'm gonna do. I thought I could repair pistons, but I guess you really can't. Which is understandable. It's not like you can do that in real life very much. Or at all, actually. I've never seen someone repair a piston in my entire life. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I highly doubt that that's a thing. That is practiced wildly. I'm just gonna buy four. Eight piston rings to be sure, because it, I mean, it doesn't really matter how many piston rings I buy. As you can see, I've got 46 grand right now. I'm not very concerned. Again, the stuttering, I don't know why. It's perfectly fine. The game that I'm playing is not installed on the same hard drive that I'm uh, recording to, so I don't understand. And my CPU usage is fine, and my GPU doesn't care about anything that's going on right now. So... I don't get it. I mean, this, this game has been going through so many updates, and so many things have been changing with it. And it seems like there are certain things that get fixed. Uh, actually, there are most things that do get fixed with this game. But they also like to break things by accident. Hey, it's just, it's kind of like a car in that sense, where you're trying to do something, and things are working okay, and then they're not, and then it's broken, and then you have to pay thousands of dollars. But, either way, doesn't matter to me, because as long as it's smooth gameplay that hopefully translates into smooth uh, video, then that's alright with me. Where's my cursor? There it is. Um... But yeah, about the channel itself, all my videos are now private, because I don't want to get rid of all those memories and stuff, because they were good memories. But, um, you know, I am redoing everything, so it's just car stuff that I do. So, this, even though it's gaming, technically counts as car stuff, because it's a car-related video game, and it's... Kind of realistic? I mean, it's not the most realistic car thing. Well, okay, actually, on the market right now, in terms of what's for sale and all the games and stuff that are out there, this is probably the most realistic one out there. But, still, there's still a lot to be desired. Uh, and hopefully... The devs are going to add more cars and more parts, and I, I would, honestly, I would love, like, absolutely love to see more customization, because I want to be able to do a whole bunch of crazy engine swaps by default, and I would love to uh, do, like, just absolutely ridiculous stuff 
but also a lot of realistic stuff too. And I, I want to be able to just, you know, okay. So like with Hondas, <laughs> gonna bring up Hondas. I have to own one, which I'm actually gonna post a video of. Um, that's another thing. I'm gonna try and do like a. If you've ever seen Boosted Boys, or if you've ever seen Hacker Garage, or uh, Bro Boys, or just about anybody who has any type of garage theme thing. I want to do something like that, but I don't have any friends out here to do it with because I just moved out here. Um, and I finally have a garage, but like I, there's a ton of stuff that I don't have, including car parts yet. So uh, I want to do something like that, and it's probably going to be solo for the longest time. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, back to the original point, that's one thing that I did want to do was uh, just have my car up there and do stuff with my car and document it and, you know, the, the current car that I have right now, I might even be selling and or trading soon. So whatever I, whatever I get, um, that there, it will absolutely be up here. But I would like to put my car that I have right now up here because it's pretty much been with me ever since, actually it's been with me before I got my license. Um, so it, it's kind of special to me. I, I like it. And I put a lot of work into it so far, and I plan on putting even more. So I'm still doing body work to it. Um, paint, Bondo, all that stuff. Dent correction. Eventually I plan on getting... Uh, oh, wrong way. Eventually I plan on getting a professional paint job done, but as of right now I don't have that kind of money. And the reason why I'm doing body work myself is so I can save that money so I don't have to pay for them to do corrective things and all that as well. So I'm doing body correction, I'm doing primer, and hopefully that'll save some dollars. Now I'm using a good primer too. It's Because uh, I've, I've tried Rust-Oleum and I've tried other types of brands. VHT, which was kind of weird because the only things I've really ever seen VHT make were like high heat, high temperature paints, but they had a primer, and I use it. But I've seen Duplicolor, I've seen VHT. Oddly enough, I've seen um, oh no, Rust-Oleum. That's what it was. Um, and the 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 best one that's worked out so far for me is. Uh, Duplicolor, so that's it. It's it does pretty well, I have to admit. Okay, so we can move this back to where it was. But anyway, I went on a whole rap trail and I forgot what I was initially trying to say. Uh, but the point is, is that I want to do car stuff and I want to do my car stuff and I want to do video game car stuff. And this game is as close as you can get. I think right now this is probably the closest game you can get. Oops. Um, I don't overfill my oil in real life, don't worry. But, look at that, perfect. Which reminds me, I need to change the oil in my car. But anyway, so hopefully I'll be posting videos of that. Um, all my memories are still there, they're just not available to the public. Because, you know, new direction. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it does well, because again, no friends right now, so I want to. I'm, I'm basically doing it all myself. All the work is going to be on my own, all of the filming is going to be on my own. Just the, everything is just on me. So I, I kind of want to change that soon. But again, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna have to see if there are any meets around here. I'm gonna. I've, I've already tried to start networking on Instagram, but <laughs> you know how that goes. Which, which is to say, it doesn't. So, um, we'll see. Okay, so now that this is all pretty much done, this car is now worth one hundred and one thousand dollars. So that's pretty good. So I'm gonna move this. 
this, okay, I've been working on this car for, okay, so I don't play this game as often as I used to, but this has basically been sitting here for at least a month. Bad, you know, no, over a month. So I'm really curious. It runs! It runs, okay, it runs. So that's good, so that's a start. Okay, so what I want to do, the abandoned airport in the Corvette, here we go. I'm actually kind of excited because I've been working on this thing for a long time. I think I got it at a barn, which that I bought it at the barn before the barn prices were fixed. So I paid like $60,000 for a piece of trash, really. And so I've been slowly restoring it this entire time, which is crazy because if anyone has ever seen my very first video, that no longer exists because I don't want it to exist anymore. Uh, but my very first CM 2015 video, uh, it took me less than an hour to fully restore um, a 60, I want to say it was a 69 Dodge Charger. So, you know, to have something like this that took that long, it's kind of wild. spin because you know it it's got it's built kind of like this is a modern day V8 so it's supposed to be good it's supposed to have high horsepower at least a lot of torque I didn't okay I'll be honest I wasn't paying attention to how much horsepower and torque this thing had in the overview so I don't know for sure but uh Right into the wall, fantastic. My depth perception is kind of off when it comes to this game. Okay. Okay, so that's fun. So I think we're done here. Okay, so let's see. You know, half the challenge is recording it. The rest of it is editing and uploading it and the patience it takes for that. Because that is mostly why I didn't continue with the other stuff that I was doing because um, I just got lazy and like basically that one day I recorded a whole bunch at once and I was going to like cut them up into um, into separate videos but I was too lazy for it 300 horsepower and 393 torque I guess foot pounds of torque though I don't know what that measurement is NM I don't know what that measurement is but I guess that's the peak torque right there 
I'm gonna assume that's torque because the top one's horsepower. It's kind of weird that they peak at different points, but I guess it makes sense. But okay, so let's make money. One hundred one thousand one hundred sixty-two dollars because reasons. Just gonna take a picture of that for Steam. Okay, so after working on this thing for so long, <laughs> there's still a lot I haven't checked or. I wonder why the crankshaft bearing caps don't pop up. I literally had the motor in pieces. That's one weird thing, is that e even though you may have an entire part torn down completely, it doesn't always pop up unless you click that direct part and do something with it. But, let's make some money. Alright, so now I have a bunch. Which is different, because I, I don't think I've even been above, like, 100 grand. I think I've hit 100 grand, but not gone above it. Maybe not even, because it just said it gave me the achievement cash only silver, so I don't know if, like, I can't remember. I can't remember. But not a problem. Let's see what this thing needs. Oh, yeah. This is another car that I've been working on for a long time. It's a customer vehicle. Hella stuff to fix. Like, th and it's an Audi, so I'm not surprised. Which is funny because I almost bought an Audi in real life. Um, I think it was an A4. I'm not sure. I want to say it was an A4. It was like a 2002 or 3. It was a... I want to say it was a 6-speed, maybe? 5 or 6-speed. Uh, but it was the 1.8 turbo. It wasn't too bad. Um, but anyway, let's see. So, apparently, it doesn't start. And it needs an oil change, so that's easy. And it's a Ford Pinto, so let's see if the gas tank has been crumpled or not. Matter of fact, I'm sure it probably hasn't been, because if it did, it wouldn't exist, because it would have exploded. Ford. So right away, I see the mufflers are messed up, so that's always a good sign. Yep, fuel pump's gone. Fuel tank's fine, though. At least for the most part. It looks like the fuel pump is uh, pretty bad. Okay, so let's see. Let's lower it down real quick. Wait a minute. Okay. Alright, so spark plug. How did I discover the spark plug was bad? Alright, I'll take it. Multimeter here. I wonder what the uh, air filter looks like. Okay, so the battery's dead. Well, that might. That explains. Okay. There we go. And it looks like the air filter's pretty bad. I, uh, when I accidentally clipped through it, it looked pretty bad, so I guess we'll see how that is. Okay, that's not how air filters work. that's really realistic about this game is the amount of wear and tear that cars go through with such easy fixes due to negligence. That's that's pretty realistic, I have to admit. Okay, so let's look at the plugs and see which one's bad, because apparently one of them is. Or we'll just replace all of them because they're there. I seriously have like a ton of spark plugs that are like in the 80s and 90s that I need to use up. Alright, and I have a new battery already, so I don't need to buy one. And fuel filter I have a new one for. Okay, so let's see... Oh, excuse me? 
Okay, need brand new spark plugs. Cause we're gonna be picky. And this is exactly why I have so many spark plugs that are in the 80s and 90s. Okay. One thing that I really like about this is that two, three, four. I get to do that. I don't have to like constantly spam the button and then sometimes buy the wrong amount. And then the other thing that I really like is the uh, notes. You can actually mark what parts you need and you can save that for later so you can open it in your web browser in game. Like your, you know, the web browser that's built in here. That, 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 the thing I was just in. You can, you can do that. You can have that and it will tell you what you need. That's pretty cool. Fuel pump. Yes, I have not replaced that yet. And I know I need to do the exhaust, but I don't know what else is here. So, I wonder. I'm really curious to know what this oil looks like. Okay. Well. Sir, I think I might have found your issue. So here's what we're gonna do. I have any exhaust pieces left, however. No, I don't. So, middle buffer, and then... Okay. That, and then that. If I wanted to be really obnoxious, I would just let it be straight piped. I'd be like, here you go, it's not very quiet, but it, it, it'll start. They start it up, and there's a... <laughs> Why do I do these things to myself? Whatever. Um, part not just. I wonder. You like the beats in the background? I'll probably put a link to what I'm listening to. It's one of those 24 7 lo fi hip hop things, but it's like a different one, not the one I usually listen to, so. Things are a little bit different. I'm so curious to know what this one undiscovered part would be. Because it's like, it doesn't start, but when it would work, it would be really loud. But it's all here. All the proper pipes are here. Everything's good. And the starter is 65%. Look, I can take it off of the car, and it will show 65%, and there you go. It's not going to be... No. 64, apparently. But, I... I don't understand. Wait. Okay. Accessible from engine bay. What am I in right now, then? Okay, that's one thing that's really annoying, is that sometimes the hitboxes are all messed up. Okay, so let's look at this and see what kind of condition that must have been in. It's fine! Okay, I don't understand. Stop doing that. Okay, yes. 
so let's do a compression test because I don't know what else to do. Brakes wouldn't make it loud. Brakes wouldn't keep it from starting. I already did OB. Well, no, I didn't. But it doesn't have an OBD sensor. It's from like 1974. Nothing wrong with a car from 1974, but you get my point. It wasn't even developed. So I'll use this again. We'll see if anything's changed. Okay. So that's okay. See. It's not going to make a difference, but may as well. I always run every single test on every car I work on anyway, so... <sighs> and by always, I actually mean always. Can I... I can't... Oh, yeah. Okay. Can be examined by test path. How about I just take it off and put it back on? Yeah, go figure. Well, I'm at a loss. I don't know what could be keeping it from starting, and what it could, what could uh, cause extreme loudness, other than some sort of electrical issue. Because everything else has been electrical. So I need a new plug. So I need a new battery. I need a new pump, which is even. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the fuel pump on the original Pinto was mechanical, but apparently on here it's electronic, so that would that would have been an electronic issue. Um, and of course, loudness is all exhaust system. I don't understand. Uh, I'm kind of confused. Kind of at a loss. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this big thing out of here. Here's the thing, because this car wants to be a Ford Crown Victoria, right? It wants to be an LTD, but then it also wants to be a Caprice from 89. But then it also wants to be a Dodge Diplomat. They they combined, I think they combined this perfectly, actually. Like, all the mid-sized sedans of that era just kind of came together in one car and manifested itself into this boat. But all right, let's, let's put that there. Move this here. See if you can start it. Took a minute, but it started. So we seem to be okay. It's getting fuel. It's got spark. Again, it took a minute, but. Okay, I don't know. Let's do test path then, because why not? I forget where my test path is. That's that's definitely not it. That's a dyno. Wait, that's a dyno? Hold on a minute. I want to use the dyno. Whatever, I think this is the test path. Yep. I don't use it that often, so... Yes. So it's hesitating to start, but it starts. Yeah, I guess that's somewhere we're, uh, we're getting somewhere. Ouch. We're getting somewhere, but we're not, like... Oh, I should press the brake, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, wow, would you look at that? 65%. How much do you want to bet this is going to be 65% too? Oh, crazy. Okay. This is going to be 65% too. Watch. Just you wait. And I have no idea why my taskbar is there. But, if I'm at a loss with this thing, I don't know what's going to go on. I'm just going to, like, stop recording. I'm going to end it here, and I'm just going to investigate. I'm probably just going to, like, literally tear the thing apart and figure out what's going on. Because, I... This is not going to satisfy me. I need to know what is wrong. Can I exit the car now? Okay, here we go. Alright. Oh, wait. Wait. Doors. There they are. I do 
feel like having this stuff more accessible than the other game. I don't understand. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna dig into this thing and figure out what's wrong. So, thanks for being curious enough to click on here, and maybe you've made it this far, and maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna look at the analytics. No, I won't, because I don't care that much. I just want to do what's fun to me, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, appreciate it. I really do. Um, and tell me what you think about the rest of my ideas here for this, uh, restart of a channel. Because I, you know, I've had this channel since 2011, and I've been uploading since 2013. But, you know, I had, I, I can finally do stuff, like, I can finally do what I want, so that's what I'm gonna do, so, thank you, I appreciate it, and have a, how do I end it, I, I don't, it sounds basic, whatever, I'm just gonna stop recording, have a good night, or day, or what, I, okay, it's getting, it's getting worse, I'm just, nope, that's it, yeah, I figured it out, I figured it out, I figured it out, the, it's the ignition coil. I don't know how I missed that. I pro I had to look right at it like five times, and I literally took the ignition wires off. And like, okay, all right, okay, that's that'll do it for that. Okay, there. Problem solved. One less thing taking up space in the garage, I guess. Okay, there. <laughs>